Once you are using Intercompany Integration Solution for SAP Business One, as soon as you start adding global customers in the system, and those customers are going to be replicated between the databases, Business One is going to also add uh, additional fields inside of the Business Partner Master Data to show us consolidated balance. So let me show you that. Under Business Partner, I'm going to have Business Partner Master Data. I'm going to open a Global Business Partner, which is a customer. As we can see here, the Global Business Partner checkbox is selected. And we are going to have these three fields, Consolidated Account Balances, Consolidated Deliver Balances, and Consolidated Order Balances. Obviously, we want to have those in this information synchronized between the databases to show the consolidated information of companies using Intercompany Integrated Solution. To do that, we have two options. We have the manual, manual process or we have the automated process. So let me show you a scenario. First, in my head office, I'm going to include a new AR invoice under Sales AR, AR invoice inside of my head office. So I'm going to select my customer, CG027, and I'm going to select an item, $50. And I'm going to add this information inside of SAP Business. Now, if I go back to my Business Partner Master Data, Looking for my customer CG027, I will be able to see that the consolidated account balance is $50. Now, if I move to my branch number one, because I didn't synchronize the consolidated account balance between the companies, once I open my business partner, business partner master data, and look for the same customer, here we can see that the consolidated account balance is still zero because it was not synchronized between the databases. The first option that we have to synchronize the account balance is the manual process. In order to do that, I'm going to open administration, system initialization, general settings, and I'm going to have the checkbox PP balance sync. So I'm going to synchronize here. Now, once I go back to my business partner master data, and look for my customer, CG027, now we can see that the consolidated account balance has been synchronized between the databases. The second option is by automating the process of synchronization. In order to do that, I need to open Data Company Integration Solution for SAP Business One. I'm going to select Start, All Programs, the Intercompany Integration Solution for SAP Business One, Intercompany Administration Console. I need to include the B1I user and password. And once I am in the console, I'm going to select Preferences and I'm going to select BP Balance Scheduling. Here, I can schedule the, the synchronization of the consolidated balance for my business partner, either daily or weekly. In my case, it's going to be daily. So if I select the drop-down list here, I can include when the synchronization is going to take place. In my case, I have every 10 minutes. I'm going to select that information. And now I'm going to press Schedule. So the system is going to return a notification. Are you sure you want to save the selection option for the consolidated balance for business partner? I'm going to say yes, OK. And the consolidated balance for business partner, it was successfully activated. You can see that the current status has been changed to configured. And now if I create transactions in different databases for my global customers, the business partner 
balance, the consolidated one is going to be synchronized every 10 minutes inside of SAP Business One. 